Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial again we're gonna do a, a text animation. It's almost the same thing as the previous tutorial so it's going to be a text inside of a rectangle. It's just that this time the animation is different as you can see right here. Anyway so first thing first is that I'm gonna go to the uh, effect library and just add a solid color on my timeline then right click and change that to uh, a new compound clip give it a name and click on create okay then we go to the fusion tab and here where the magic happens The first thing I want to do and the first thing I always do when I'm working on the Fusion tab is that we need to unlink the media in and the media out node just by clicking on this line. The next thing I want to do is add a background node but first just click right here on the node graph just to make sure you uncheck everything. So click on the node background. Here we have it. I'm going to click on this left view so I can see it on the screen and you can give it a color maybe something like this this is good the next thing of course is that we need to add a rectangle shape and so with the background selected this time we're gonna click on the rectangle Now, as you can see right here on the left view, that we have a rectangle with a solid color. So with the rectangle node selected, I'm going to go to the inspector and just uncheck this solid option right here and increase the border width a little bit, just like that. And of course, adjust my rectangle shape however I want okay so this is good I'm gonna switch now to a single viewer here we go now what we want to do now is just we want sort of vanish this rectangle from the screen and then we want it to appear slowly with the text and stop right around here okay we don't want the rectangle to close we want it to stop right here so to do that we need to add a polygon node but first I'm gonna go to my timeline grab my playhead and just put it all the way to the to the end add my polygon node with the rectangle node selected here we go and just make sure you draw a nice and well shaped rectangle right where you want the animation of the rectangle to stop you can of course adjust it afterward so I want it to stop just around here. Okay, this is good. Okay, so I think this is good. Um, the next thing, of course, with the polygon selected, we're going to go to the inspector again. And now we have a solid color right here. And we don't want that. We want this to be uh, empty. So you look for paint mode. And here we have merge. I'm going to change that to subtract because I don't want anything right here. Okay, just like that. So the next step is that I will bring back the playhead all the way to the beginning. And now increase the size of my polygon shape just like this. You know, you have to make sure that 
everything disappears we want it to start empty just like this so now we can't see our rectangle that's normal because this is how we're going to do the animation okay just like that so now if i click play you sort of get the idea of what i'm talking about you see maybe just slightly adjust this here we go okay so now we have our basic rectangle animation uh, the next thing is that we need to add a text but first let me just link everything together so I'm gonna link the background with the media out and the media in when the media out node as well just a moment here we go you can see a new node here this is the merge node so that's normal it did appear by default Okay, so these are all the notes we are working with for this specific animation. The last thing to do, of course, is that we need to add a text. So I'm going to click on the background node and just come over here where it says text and click on a text plus node. Click on my text node. Go to uh, the inspector, of course. And right here we can type anything so let's type something like text animation for example um, we can adjust the size and the color and the font and everything so um, probably I'm going to adjust the color right here you know put something like this green or this yellow green color like this increase the size a little bit you can change the fonts let's see how it looks now yeah it looks good now for the animation i'm going to come over here look for right on click on this um, that's right here bring this all the way down move to my playhead bring it all the way down and again put this ladder back up and now we have our text animation so if i click play you can see like what's going on so it's looking good but it's still slow sort of robotic so we need to uh, smooth the animation to do that we need to go to the s spline again make sure you check all of these the polygon and the text we select everything and we click on F for Fox. Here we go. So now if I go back to my edit tab, I can add my background, put this clip up and put the image beneath it like this. We can zoom in a little bit so the image sort of fits the background. That looks good. And I just need to darken the background a little bit. So I can do this uh, in the color tab. Click on clips, make sure I have my image selected. Go to the color wheels. 
right here where it says left and just bring it down okay so we can have a nice contrast all right now that looks better the final thing will be to render or you can add a song or audio whatever that you want anyway i'll head to the render tab give it a name text animation um select the format mp4 quick time whatever that you want i'll go with mp4 and add to render queue and then you click on start rendering okay so that was pretty much all for this text animation tutorial if you have any questions just uh, leave it in the comments thank you so much for watching and see you another time